We've all heard it. The ideal number of bikes is n plus 1, where n equals the number of bikes you already have. I disagree with this philosophy, and I think that having enough bikes is better than having more bikes. Here's the dark sides of having n plus 1 bikes, and why scaling back on your bike purchases might be right for you. What's up? I'm Zach Gallardo. Life is short, but don't make it shorter, so be sure to ride your bike every day to be reasonably dangerous. And subscribe for more cycling videos just like this one every Thursday and Saturday at 6 p.m. Pacific. As a fixed gear YouTuber, I get to ride a lot of bikes, and I continuously have a lot of bikes in rotation. I currently have six fixed gears with two more on the way, and while it's part of my job, it's too many dang bikes. I don't know a lot of you were thinking, there's no such thing as too many dang bikes. It sounds like a lot of fun having lots of bikes, but in reality, having so many bikes gets in the way of how I want to live my life. Yes, there is a such thing as having too many bikes, and here are some of the problems that I'm experiencing. Firstly, I spend a lot more time on maintenance and less time riding the bikes. Time is the number one resource that everybody has on this earth. I don't want to waste my time maintaining a stable of bikes. I'd rather spend my limited time riding and truly enjoying a few bikes. You can always make more money to buy more bikes, but you can never make more time to ride and enjoy those bikes. Secondly, having so many bikes has encouraged me to become lazy and to stop properly maintaining my bikes. Because I can just go and ride another bike, I've left a few in a state where they're not rideable. One bike needed a headset adjustment and a flat tire fix, but because I have so many other bikes that I can just go and ride instead. The flat fix took me two weeks to finish and I still haven't fixed that headset. If you're like me and you have so many bikes that you're able to leave a few in a state where they're unusable, it's an indication that you probably don't need that many bikes. Speaking of such, N plus one is totally an unnecessary expense. First of all, there's the bike itself, which obviously is a huge unnecessary expense if you don't need the bike. And of course, there's the time and the money that it takes to properly upkeep a stable of bikes. And personally, I get more joy from knowing that I have cash money in the bank than from owning a bunch of bikes that I have to worry about when I go on vacation. Obviously, N plus one bikes. You get a lot of bikes, but you also get a lot of clutter in the process. There's the bikes, but there's also the auxiliary items that go along with the bikes that will take up valuable space in your home. There's racks, baskets, fenders, lights, loose nuts and bolts, patches, tires, bar tape, grips, brakes, levers, cables, cables housing, the list goes on and on. I live in a house of three guys and we all bike. This is what the living room looks like. It's certainly livable, but this is what the garage looks like. We don't talk about the garage. When one space, like my garage, gets disorganized, a bunch of additional junk just gravitates there. And mindlessly accumulating bikes encourages that. I'm very sensitive to my environment, so if my surroundings aren't in order, then my head isn't in order and I can't think straight and get things done, which is particularly important for me to get these videos out in a timely manner. Another issue that I've had is that bikes are meant to be used, and the more bikes that you have, the less that you'll use each bike, which means more bikes are just sitting around, collecting dust, taking up space, and not getting used like they deserve. I'm staunchly against N plus one because having enough as opposed to having more is better for me. It allows me to live the life that I want to live and it gives me freedom. It gives me the freedom to live wherever I want because I'm not tied down to a location because of all this stuff that I have. I move one to three times per year and not having a stable of bikes allows me to do that. It also gives me the freedom to use the space in my own home the way I want to, so I don't have to move a bike shop's worth of gear just to sweep the floor. But most importantly, it gives me freedom to spend my time the way I want to, not maintaining bikes, but instead riding them. Bikes are meant to be ridden, and I can't reasonably ride all of the bikes that I have, nor do I even want to. My case might be a bit different from yours because all of my bikes are fixed gears, and that's a lot of redundancy. In my free time, I wouldn't reasonably ride an entry-level fixed gear instead of my daily rider. In general, we don't really need a whole bunch of bikes of the same category. It's fine to have one or two different bikes in the same category, say mountain bike, fixed gear, road bike, but it's when we become hyper-specific about our categories is when the bike hoarding can start to weed its way in. It becomes 
way too easy to justify unnecessary bike purchases. With this hyper nichification, we might start to think, well, I need an aluminum fixed gear for fast straight rides. In addition to my supple steel fixed gear with wide tires for distance rides, in addition to my carbon tracky for racing. But on Sunday, I can't just ride those fixed gears. I need my custom titanium track bike for the nice Sunday rides. And for the road bikes, I need a climbing bike and an aero bike, the cross racing bike and the cross commuter, which are not to be confused with the gravel bike, which is not to be confused with the adventure bike. The list goes on and you can find an infinite number of categories and justifications for bikes. Don't get me wrong, all of these different types of bikes are certainly fun, but nobody can reasonably ride and fully appreciate all of these bikes. It's up to you to decide how many bikes is enough for for your stable. To avoid falling into the N plus one trap and becoming a bike hoarder, here's a few questions that you should keep in mind. How many bikes is enough for you? What types of bikes do you use on a regular basis? Do you actually find joy in owning and using these bikes? Or do you find more joy in shopping and hunting for the bikes? And how much joy do you get from owning your bikes versus actually riding and using your bikes? I currently have six fixed gear bikes and I'm no happier than when I just had one fixed gear. Heck, I'm probably less happy because of all the bikes because there's just too many dang bikes in this house. I personally only really need one bike and I really truly want to ride one bike. My solid, reliable, practical, nice but not too fancy daily rider. Anytime that I'm riding one of the other bikes that I currently have, I just always want to go back to my one. How many bikes do you currently own and how many do you think are enough for you? Let me know in the comments. And Fixie Famous shoutouts to Michael Rector, Alistair McCullum, Matt Ford, Ozzy Verto, Connor Kerrigan, Merrick Javecki, Robert Terpster, Blue Tick Hound, Evil Ernie, and Jazeel for making these fixed gear videos possible through their support on Patreon. If you've already ridden your bike today, check out my related video on why gear doesn't matter in cycling. But if you haven't ridden your bike yet today, stop watching me right now, turn off your device. Life is short, but don't make it shorter, so ride your bike every day to be reasonably dangerous. 